everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you guys my my scene collection. This was one of the most requested collection videos I have gotten. It's funny because about three or four people asked me to make this around the same time. So that's what I'm going to do today. I just want to say I don't have the most amazing, like, huge my scene collection compared to a lot of my other collections you've seen. It's pretty small, and that's because most of my dolls I got secondhand in different lots. So a lot of them don't have the outfit, their outfits. A lot of them aren't complete. So uh, I'm sorry if that's not as impressive to some of you guys, but I love them a lot. And as always, if you want to see pictures of these dolls, their body photographs, facial close-ups, and pictures of their outfits, feel free to check out my Flickr. So without further ado, let's get to it. So this is a quick pan of all my Mycene dolls. I have 27 right now in my collection. Most of them are secondhand, so like I said, they're not all in the right outfits. So this is second edition Barbie. And this is actually her right outfit. I recently just got her this outfit. I got her in 2012, I want to say, in a lot with Bratz shoes I purchased at the flea market. And I thought she was really pretty. She was one of my first, like, my scene dolls in my adult collection. And I love how she has these little micro braids. And she's got, like, the sweetest little face and side glance. And then we have Chillin' Out Barbie. I actually got her at a yard sale in a huge like bin of dolls I got. It was a charity yard sale and basically you could pick out what you wanted and then like pay what you felt it was worth like as a donation. So we found this like huge box of dolls and actually got her in that box with this whole outfit which is really handy and she's cool. I was happy to have her because I had Chillin' Out Madison growing up who you'll see in a few minutes. And then we have Vespa Barbie. I have my scene shoes I could put on her, but I don't have her original ones and for some reason I was lazy and I didn't put them on. But that's okay, she's getting her hair redone, so maybe I'll give her shoes then. I got her pretty recently. Um, she was from the Live Clothing lot, I think, this past market season. She has her outfit and she's really cool. She has connect one hair and it's like a lighter color than the other Barbies I have. Then we have one of my favorites. This is Masquerade Madness Barbie Butterfly Punk. And we go way back. Actually, her and Shopping Spree Barbie over here next door. They were the two first Mycene dolls I got as an adult. I got them in the fall of 2011 from Bratz Guy Lot. Basically, um, if you've watched my Why I Love Bratz video, I talk about how I bought a few Bratz dolls at the flea market from this guy, including my World Twins Nevaeh, who's my favorite Bratz doll. I regretted not buying the whole box, so the whole summer we kept our eye out at our local flea market for that guy hoping he'd come back and hoping he'd have the dolls, and we actually ended up finding him in the fall, but the box had been kind of like gone through, like a lot of people had already bought some of the dolls, but we bought what was left of it, and these two dolls were two of the three Mycene dolls in that container, but unfortunately the other one had like a pixie haircut. So at first I didn't really like this Barbie, but I think she's beautiful now. I love her eyelashes and she has really long curly hair which needs to be redone. I seriously boil wash this doll all the time. I have a really special place in my heart for this doll. I don't know why, I just really bond with her. So she's definitely one of my favorites. And then Shopping Spree Barbie is from the same place and I always thought she was really really pretty. I have a fun time dressing her. She probably changes the most of my Mycene dolls and she's in really beautiful condition and um, I think, I don't remember, someone drew like nipples on one of these dolls because the kid who owned them before me was really cruel to their dolls and like they did awful things like that so I think I was able to get rid of those though. Um, and then we have my Swap and Styles Barbie. So this is actually supposed to be a separate head. So it was basically on the idea of head games, Bratz, where it was like a whole doll with a head with like a removable torso part. There's fashionistas like it too. And they have buttons on their back. Um, and she was one of the separate heads sold, but I don't have the original body or any of the other stuff. But I got her as a separate head in a baggie when I bought my Bratz Kids first edition Chloe and my Snap-on Cameron at a flea market. It was outside a flea market and I saw Chloe and Cameron and Barbie's head happened to be in the bag with them. 
kind of coincidentally and I gave her a body and I actually already had this outfit I think which is funny. She's cool. I love her pigtails and I love these little hair baubles. I'm an engine Jamaica Noli. This is one of my favorite dolls of all time. She is easily by far my most special my scene doll. If you happen to read my my story on my scene dolls she has talked about um, when I was 12 in like the spring of 2004 I got braces and before I had braces I actually had to have five teeth pulled and I managed to pull out two of them on my own but I had to go to the dentist and have the other three pulled so my dad took me to the dentist one day to have that done it didn't really hurt me because I had Novocaine but he was watching when they pulled out my teeth and it made like a lot of graphic noises and I had blood coming out of my mouth and he felt really bad so he went to Walmart with me after and he bribed me by saying I will buy you a doll and I actually got my Bratz Black Tokyo case that same day he got me two things and Noli was one of them and I gotta say I love her more than the case and I use the case all the time she's my prettiest my scene doll I played with her a lot I just thought she was so cool and pretty and I just remember that day really really well and we just have this inseparable bond Chillin' Out Noli and Miami Getaway Noli. I got them together actually from the 60 doll lot of 2013. I was super excited to have two other Noli dolls because she's my favorite character. As you can see, they don't have their outfits, but I think Chillin' Out Noli's cool because I have Barbie and obviously Madison and I love her eyeshadow. And then I think Miami Getaway Noli is exotic looking and I love her little pigtails. I need to wash her face though, somehow there's a little dirt on it. And then we have um, my bling bling spa de lance. I got her at the flea market in a bin and the sad story is my sister and I bought this bin of dolls that had like really bad haircuts like pixie haircuts and stuff and most of the dolls weren't salvageable and if you look her hair is really short um, but I managed to even it out because I thought she was so pretty and I felt so bad and I knew her bathing suit was in there so I saved her and I'm glad I did she's so cute. And this is Club Disco Delance. I thought she was a Noli when I bought her. I got her at my flea market this summer. She's really cool, and when I got her home, I realized, hmm, Noli doesn't have a beauty mark, and she kind of looks more like Delance. Turns out she is. She's super pretty. She's definitely one of the prettiest Mycene dolls in my collection, and I think she looks great in this uh, American Idol outfit. And then we have my first edition Chelsea. I always wanted her growing up, but I ended up getting Chillin' Out Madison instead. She's really cool. I wish I had her outfit, but she looks great in. And I love the earrings I made. And I got her in a lot as well. I don't remember which one off the top of my head. Then we have my two second edition Chelsea dolls. I got her at that same yard sale as Chillin' Out Barbie with her outfit. She's really cool. I love Chelsea. I love her red hair. She was one of my favorite characters. I, I like them all though. And uh, the second one here, I actually didn't realize she was a second edition Chelsea when I bought her. I kind of had a feeling I had her already, but I wanted her because this outfit she was wearing is really cool. It's a Mycene fashion pack. And I actually got her from the seller I bought my very first secondhand Disney doll from as an adult, Real Riding Con Mulan, who is actually who I got this Delance from. I got most of my single purchased Mycene dolls from that lady. And then we have um, uh, my bling bling Chelsea. I got her boxed the same day as my formerly boxed Genie Magic Megan. I saw Megan and I was really excited, but I also saw Chelsea. So I thought, oh, I'll just buy Megan. I'll be good. I don't really need the Mycene doll, but I couldn't stand it. So before we left, I went back and I bought Chelsea. She's amazing. Like, this outfit's really risque, but I love it. And she's got glittery makeup, and I'm a total sucker for dolls with glittery makeup. And I love how she's got, like, the squinty, sultry eyes and the two-toned hair. And then we have Chillin' Out Madison, who is my second Mycene doll. I loved Madison's. My first was actually a first edition Madison, but I don't have her anymore because I didn't know how to take care of her really curly hair, so she balded and I cut her hair. So I had to get rid of her at some point, and I felt really bad doing it, but I still have her. I didn't play with her a whole lot, but I liked how she was kind of like the Wintertime Wonderland Bratz. Vespa Madison. I got her from the same sellers as Chelsea. She's cool. When I saw her on the table, I was like, hmm, my scene doll in the right outfit must have. And I love Madison dolls, and since I don't have my first Madison doll, I'm always most likely to buy either Noli or Madison, because Madison's probably my second favorite character. Then we have Day and Night Madison. I actually had her whole outfit, 
for a while and I found her at a charity store. I never have luck at places like Salvation Armies and charity stores, but there's this one that I do have luck at. If you guys have watched my How I Detangle Doll Hair video, that big Bratz, he's mean styling head, I also got her at that same place, but a few years before. I found her like just naked, laying in the rubble, and so I adopted her and she's really pretty. I think she might be the prettiest of my Madison dolls. And then we have uh, Hollywood Style Madison. I got her at a yard sale on the way up to the flea market someone had a yard sale they had a box of dolls I saw Madison and I was I knew she wasn't the first edition but she kind of reminded me of her because of her hair and she's got these cool eyelashes and she has the most unique makeup of the bunch and this is actually my childhood first editions outfit it's kind of in bad condition because I played with it all the time and then we have I think it's first edition Sutton he's 2000 from 2003 and he's a funny story my sister bought a little like case of vintage skipper clothes. It had a few skipper outfits and he was just kind of in there for some reason and we were like, oh poor guy. You can tell he's in bad condition. His eyebrows kind of missing. His flocking is rubbed off, but I love Sutton. And then we have uh, Hanging Out Sutton. I got him boxed with Hudson over there who you'll see in a minute at a consignment store for a few, I think he was like maybe eight dollars. He's really cool and he's my favorite aesthetically of the Sutton dolls because he's got this cool like fro, this curly hair I love and I love his outfit. He's just a hunk. My sister would have played with him a lot I think when we were kids or I would have. And then we have my Jammin' in Jamaica cruising the boardwalk set. I'm sorry about that glare. So they are my second favorite Mycene dolls in my collection. I kind of wanted to try the Mycene boys out when we first started buying Mycene dolls, and when we saw the set, I had to get it at KB Toys because I love African American dolls. And do you see how like dark Jai is? I love the super dark African American dolls. It's beautiful. It's not something you see all the time. And they came with this cool bike. And I remember that day we opened up in th up in the car and we put took them to the hardware store with us with my dad, and um, we named them after characters from the movie along came Polly. So this is Reuben and this is Polly and their little dog was Rodolfo because we loved that movie. We still love that movie but we were really obsessed with it. I think we saw it in theaters like two or three times. So yeah and he's in bad shape because my sister played with him a lot. His shirt's missing the decal. He doesn't have much flocking and I used to play with Jai's outfit all the time and I like how she has the posable body. And then we have Bryant. I think he's the first edition one as well. I got him with that Chelsea over there from that same lady and I really wanted him because I think he is so good looking. I love this hair. He kind of reminds me of like a guy version of Mystery Squad Kenzie and he's got this like cool outfit. I kind of like the way that the Mycene boys are dressed better than Bratz boys back in the day because like Bratz boys had the leather pants and they, they looked like pimps or something. So I like how these guys are dressed a little more casually. And then we have Hudson who I got boxed with this Sutton and what's cool about him is he came with like hot dogs and stuff and we're a sucker for doll food me and my sister so if you look at like our little like photos we take for fun on Flickr for like thumbnails or my stories there's always doll food in them <laughs> because we're obsessed with it and he's really cute he looks so happy and then we have last but not least my two rebel style Kennedy dolls I got them together on the same day they were a dollar each at my local flea market I was originally only going to buy this girl because she has her original earrings in her boots, but I don't know. I could tell that they were probably owned by siblings or someone just happened to have two, and I didn't want to split them up, you know. I mean, I always had duplicates growing up because we shopped secondhand and because me and my sister would get the same things a lot of the time, so I adopted them together, and I'm so glad I did. They're really cute, and I love them a lot, and they have really beautiful hair. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as I said, if you want to see pictures of these guys, check out my Flickr. I'll link it below. I'll also link my My Story about these guys down below as well. It might be a small collection, but I really love them a lot. My scene dolls are so cool. I love how big their heads are. Stay tuned for more collection videos. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.